Why is that crazy woman having musical notes fly across the screen? Has she lost her marbles? Potentially, yes. But I was thinking that in these troubled times, we all need to think about what song it is exactly that we are singing to the world. A lot of people are posting on social media very inflammatory posts. There is so much anger behind them, so much outrage, and they're causing a lot of conflict. Now, I'm not saying that the subject matter doesn't deserve anger, but I think there's an aspect that a lot of people are missing. We are sharing not just words, but our emotion, the oomph behind it. And if we think of it that way, we might reconsider some of the things that are being posted. If we look at this as just the law of attraction, Remember, what we resist persists, and what we focus on, we draw more of toward us. So, if we've got our fists out and we're saying these son of a bitch, blah, 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 that's pretty resistant. We're fighting. That kind of energy is going to draw more things toward us to fight. If we're focusing on how unfair the world is, what comes toward us? More unfair things. And each person is entitled to choose what they want to have come toward them, of course, but when we post, we are sharing the energy behind that. And so I got to thinking today that if we look at this as contributing to the collective consciousness and we share a post that gets half of our friends for something, half of our friends against something, pretty soon we have war within the comments. What energy are we contributing to the consciousness? We're stirring up a lot of venom. Is that really what we want to contribute? Do we really want to get our friends all riled up? Well, sometimes some people do. I mean, some people do kind of get off on getting people kind of worked up. That's just the way they're made. They thrive on conflict. But a lot of people that are posting are not doing it with that intention. They're sharing their outrage. They're sharing their anger. By God, the world is unfair. Yes, it is. The world is unfair. But if you want to share a certain kind of energy among your friends, do you want it to be sorrow at the unfairness of the world? Do you want it to be anger, resentment? I'm just suggesting that maybe it's time that we think about what we want to sing to the world. If the goal is to arrive at peace, then getting people riled up may not be the direction we really are intending to go. I'm not saying you're not entitled to be angry. I'm not saying that you aren't entitled to be sad. I'm just suggesting that maybe 
These are things that you should work on releasing so that the strong emotions that you're feeling are not being passed on to your friends and piling up on the strong emotions they are already feeling also. You know, we can process how we're feeling, release that, then post something that could probably be even more effective if there wasn't that sense of not sure what I want to say about that. I guess I have to say control. A lot of the posts seem to be with the intention of controlling others. This is how I feel. This, by God, is how you should feel. If you don't like it, you can unfriend me. I mean, I'm seeing posts like that. How dare you support so-and-so? Don't you see what an idiot so-and-so is? Why don't you believe what I believe? Why don't you see that who I support or what I support is the right way to go? See, I think if that's why you're posting, that may be where you're going wrong. You may end up losing friends. And if you don't care about that, that's fine. But still, it's coming at these things with a defiance and an energy that really isn't singing a song of peace, if that's what you're hoping for. Is there injustice in the world? Damn straight. That's just our reality. Can you make a difference? Can you change the world by venting with this kind of post? on Facebook or whatever the social media platform is, probably not. If you really want to make a difference in the world, maybe find a petition or a group that's actively doing something that together will be noticed. But when you're just venting in a post on Facebook, you're inflaming things, you're getting your friends upset, and you're not really making a difference. You know, if you think that bringing one person over to your way of thinking is making a difference, then I guess you can say you're making a difference. But if you really want to change the world, there has to be more power to it than that. And if you're that invested in something, maybe it's time to volunteer somewhere where your voice can really be heard. But you know, people are so used to such a variety, on Facebook anyway, that we're going from recipes to what color is my baby's poop and is this normal? I mean, it has become such a wide variety of things that are posted that I think even the ones most important to you are going unnoticed because people are just kind of burnt out. So they may join you in being pissed off, but then there are the other people in the post that are shaking their head and wondering why so much pressure? Why? Can't I express my opinion without coming up against such vehemence? Another thing I would say, and I know I've said it before, is if you are feeling these things so viscerally, quit freaking clicking on them all the time. Why is it that we insist on subjecting ourselves to what we know will upset us. You know, if you're going to perpetuate something on social media, why not happiness? Why not something more akin to peace? If you want to fight violence, getting people inflamed is not really going to reach that goal. So why not post something loving or inspiring you know 
I guess I'm just encouraging you to think more carefully about what you're posting and what song you're singing to the world. What is it you really want? Is it to win people over to your way of thinking? Is it to control them? Is it to make a difference? If it is, are you really making a difference in this way? If you really think you can make a difference, are you framing it in a way that people will be open to it? Because again, if you're coming at this with your teeth clenched and your fists ready to smash someone's face in, you know, people are going to shut down. They're going to go, not interested. Get a grip. So that's really all I had to say. It's just maybe a time to step back and think about what it is exactly you're intending to put out there. If it's just a vent, name it a bit. You know, you can be more effective if you dump the crap energy before you post because it is picked up by people that are sensitive to energy. And it does kind of diminish your message. If you're passionate about something, it's okay to share it. But share what can add value to people's lives. And in my book, sharing anger is not really adding value. Find a way that you can share what's important to you and do something good for the person that reads it rather than get them incensed or depressed. I'm not sure this made any sense. To be totally honest, it's warm up here. I've been having some trouble with breathing at night and I fell asleep when I was filming this the first time. So I may think I've covered some points. I may think I'm making more sense than I am because I lost it. I must have clicked on it and deleted it by accident. And <laughs> I'm sorry if that's the case. <laughs> oh gosh. And I will say, and I hope this is always obvious, what I share here is just my own opinion. I am not looking to shove it down your throat. If it doesn't resonate, then don't listen. If it doesn't have any personal meaning to you, then ignore it. I'm just kind of getting my truth out here in these videos and hoping that they can add some value. But that is my motivation. Sometimes it seems like I'm venting, but I try to eventually get around to the point that will add value. Maybe I'm not always successful. Take care. Bye.